in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Kieran. I serve the Lord in the throne of grace. I'm in the city of the great King Jerusalem. What a God and what a season. What an amazing season we're having. And holy and righteous Father, we just thank you right now that we are blood bought. We are no longer slaves to Satan. We are no longer slaves to sin because 2,000 years ago, right here in Jerusalem, God, you gave your life. You, for God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Wow, to be right here where it all happened. And I am today, the Lord has a word for us. And some of us are going through seasons where it's like, ouch, ouch, ouch. And come from the four winds, O breath of God, and just breathe through our hearts. Breathe on the dry bones of our life, God, and bring revelation to your word in Jesus' name. In 2 Chronicles 29, Hezekiah was king. He was 25 years old. And it says he reigned in Jerusalem. And what happened is, in the first year of his reign, he cleans the temple. And he said he brought in the priest and the Levites, and he says, hear me, Levites. Now, this is such an important word. And you have to understand that God, right now, no matter where you are, Jerusalem to the ends of the earth, God, is cleaning the temples and he is right here he's saying to the Levites he says we're going to sanctify the house of the Lord and we're going to carry out the rubbish from the holy place and if you're going through a season right now and you're saying ouch Lord you're saying ow 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 what are you doing to me it's God is taking the rubbish out of the holy place and it says our fathers have trespassed and done evil in the eyes of the Lord our God they've forsaken him and they've turned their faces away from the dwelling place of the Lord and turned their backs on him and they shut up the doors of the vestibule and they put out the lamps and they haven't burned incense or offered burnt offerings in the holy place Therefore, the wrath of God was on Judah and Jerusalem, and he gave them up to trouble, to desolation, to jeering. And he said, the father, it says the sons and daughters are, are in captivity, their wives are in captivity. So everything in, around Israel at this time, the sons and daughters, wives are in captivity. And maybe right now you're in a spiritual place in the Lord. And you're saying, wow, we are just totally, totally in captivity. Or my family's in captivity. The people around me are in captivity. It says here, it's because they didn't offer up sacrifice, okay, in the holy place. It said that they had done evil because they weren't burning incense and offering the burnt offerings. Now, what would that mean to us today? They're not burning incense. They're not sacrificing animals. Um, they weren't doing uh, their worship. So what did, what did David say in Psalms 141.2? He said, let my prayer be before you, God, is incense. And he says, the lifting of my hands as an evening sacrifice so what happened is they were called evil the wrath of god come upon israel in at this time right here when hezekiah was ruling at 25 years old because they had taken out the lamps they had closed down the holy place it was full of rubbish they were praying and they were worshiping david said let my prayers be as incense let the lifting of my hands be as an evening sacrifice. And so I was asking the Lord, I said, Lord, you are cleaning out 
the temple trash. You are absolutely doing a deep work in your people. It's painful. And I said, Lord, give me revelation. What are you doing? And the Lord said, I'm cleaning out the temple trash. 2 Chronicles 29. I am cleaning out the temple, temple trash, preparing the way of the Lord. I am stirring up, the rekindling the fires in the hearts of my people. The lamp of the Lord is shining brightly forth. And the Lord said he is looking for prayer and he is looking for worship. And this is when the worship stopped, when the incense stopped, the sacrifice stopped, it was called evil. So I want to ask you right now, are you lifting up prayers before the Lord? Are you worshiping the King? Come on, even David, one, Psalms 141, verse 2. He said, let my prayer be before you as incense. The lifting of my hands as an evening sacrifice. Lord, we ask that you make the crooked path straight. The enemy has come in like a flood. We are crying out to you. God, if there be any temple trash inside of our heart, throw it out, God. Throw it out, God. Lord, refresh us with your Holy Spirit. Create in us a pure heart. I just want to say God bless you from the throne of grace. It's never too late to start praying and worshiping and let the fire of God come from the throne of grace on your heart. And I just want to say a big God bless you as the word of the Lord goes forth from Jerusalem. God bless you.